2020 has been one hell of a year, and I've been off my A-game throughout most of it. This is, as always, just a hustle, and I hope everyone out there is doing good, though I know some are not. In the spirit of hoping for change, I figured it was really, really time for a palate cleanse, especially seeing as I have found myself making content outside my original purpose, like I knew what that was. Anyway, I've been on this journey called life dibbling and dabbling, and I decided detailing narratives could be good for me. It might help me develop my own writing ability, and that led me to this gem of a tale. Are you telling me you've never heard of We Bear Bears? No! Well, all jokes aside, I felt why not share some good feelings for once, instead of all the chaos and mayhem. Why not the best animated feel-good movie of 2020? Why not the Bear Bears movie? Yay! Now, if you enjoy what you're digging, hit that like button. You don't know the power that little icon has. So smash it into oblivion and hit that subscribe while you're at it. And turn on those notifications so you get the deets on all our videos as they are released. You can also follow us on Twitter and Gaming Life on Twitch to help support and follow our growth. All right, all right. Let's get this show on the road. That is a positive place full of only kind and supportive people. Uh, just, just do it for the likes. Okay. Now, if you have never seen We Bear Bears, then you should definitely look it up. But you're probably going to have to settle for the DVD release. We Bear Bears may come on in reruns on Cartoon Network, but the series wrapped up in May of 2019. The series ran a pleasant 140 episodes and is filled with heartwarming moments of the three adorable bears' adventures. The movie of the same title was released a bit earlier this year, and its surprising themes are what led me to dive deeper into this narrative. We Bear Bears is a simple premise. You have three bears of completely different breeds who have and always act as brothers. You have Panda, the lovable nobody, Grizz, the misunderstood brain, and Ice Bear, the cool one. They grew up exploring much of the Americas, a string of adventures you just have to follow. But the movie brings all of their adventures to a surprising, stunning conclusion. I'll do my best not to spoil anything for you, but you have been warned. The movie begins with the bears strategizing their internet marketing plan. I mean, it is literally what the bears proceed to do in the following scenes. The bears, as always, have an interesting idea, but their implementation is sometimes completely off. They proceed to survive a disastrous performance, but their actions have affected far more than just them. It's your typical cartoon adventure. What is surprisingly untypical, however, is the depths this cartoon is willing to graze and the subtle tones it's willing to touch. You see, we Bear Bears is usually a lighthearted comedy about the bears struggling to find their ways in a non-bear world. But this movie is all about society as a whole, and the three bear buddies do their best to adapt and thrive in that human society despite not necessarily belonging. It's a whole heap of themes well crafted into a heartfelt story. Events unfold where the bears are forced to flee. Their efforts garnering the attention of the Department of National Wildlife Control, which leads into a heart racing chase. Okay, maybe not heart racing. This is a kid's show, but at least surprising. I really am trying not to ruin the experience, because the movie is actually pretty well done, and it actually got a tear out of me. But what isn't making me cry these days? The bears find themselves rescued by a surprising... You know what? I think I'm going to spoil it. Nope. Nope. If you're still watching, you should definitely go find this movie. It's great. Your kids will love it. You might learn something from it. There, I, I said it. If you want to avoid any spoilers, skip to... I promise I'll be wrapping it up there. But seriously, slow clap. Well done. Encore. So, 
the bears are almost run off the road by the Mystery Ink Van. That's right, We Bear Bears is a part of the Scooby-Doo universe, making it tied to a whole host of cartoons. But that's just the theory. A writing... Nah, I refuse to finish that joke. Anyway, the bears eventually find a group of animals just like them. Talking creatures that walk and party just like you or me. But these animals are all VIPs. They are all internet celebrities known across the interwebs with millions of followers. This is where the narrative takes a twist. And if you are avoiding those spoilers, this would be your literal last stop. But also a hopping off point to avoid some real. The animals are seen as animals. And when the DNWC shows up, the department begins to treat them as animals. Now I didn't want to do it, but that just hit a bit home. The bears escape, of course, because we're only halfway through the movie. But skipping forward, the bears have the cliche breakup to make up brotherly bond shtick. Grizz having to pull a Warcraft's thrall, leading his grizzly people out of bondage against their oppressors. No? Not familiar with thrall and the epic tale of the orcs? Well, it's a cliche tale. You're probably familiar with it. And if not, you're not missing out on much. We Bear Bears, the movie, however, would be sinful to miss out on. Everything works out and the bears find a new home, reintegrating into society in one of the most heartwarming endings I have seen in a long time. What? You say I'm just emotional? <laughs> no, I'm not. I hope I haven't ruined the story. It was a pretty good end to a pretty good show, being the canon ending for the series, finalizing the adventures of the three Bear Bears. Dano Chong created a masterful tale that I think brings to light a few of the questionable realities of human nature, while delightfully detailing a slice of nature, almost like what gaming life wants to be. We Bear Bears was always a cute, moral-filled cartoon I would catch when I was waiting for something to happen, or would watch when in passing of Cartoon Network growing up, but it always held a sense of maturity I've grown to appreciate in animated media. Growing up as a kid of the 80s and 90s, concepts like teamwork and friendship were hammered into me, and it truly couldn't be escaped. If you were watching television after school, you were watching Kids Next Door or The Power Rangers, and being a part of a community was key in those shows. Shows like Captain Planet attempted to make you want to recycle, and shows like Rocket Power made you feel lame if you didn't have a crew. Time will always be in motion, but as I've grown older, I've noticed the changes to themes within our media, and I'm ever mindful to how it was first introduced to me, how it was first described. These will always be television programs to me, and as our means of displaying these mediums grow, I'm doing my best to stay hopeful to what the future of media can display and the depths of storytelling we have yet to touch. There seems to be a lot of things that are changing, and the winds of change can be frightening, but maybe... Together, we can see progress. 2020 is nowhere near over, but there are a few things we should hold on to that might just help us get to the next level. Thank you for watching Gaming Life, and if you're interested to chill with me, follow us over at Gaming Life in Leet, where every Saturday night I make a habit to stream my backlog as I show my skills and share some thrills. That is Gaming Life. For all you cool kids in Leet, <laughs> hope to catch you there. I truly hope you are all enriched with health and wealth. As always, this is Just the Hustle, and we out.